Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this a little uh, live machine explained video. Uh, in this video I want to show you um, all the aspects of live machine, how to use it, how to set it up, uh, how to use the inputs, wave players, loop recorders and of course the effects that are built in. Okay, I would say we start with the GUI and it goes like here. Let's start from top. We got some input effects here. We got filters, ring modulation, degrading, pitch shifting, grain stuff, which we cover later. And we got two pages of effects, actually. We got some reverb here, delay, step filter, uh, sorry, comp filter. And those are the so called input effects. Okay, to the right, we got this setup where we can adjust the volume where we have a click. Uh, which can be useful sometimes uh, when you're on stage or something and get a pair of headphones or a headset like me and then you can uh, yeah apply a click to it that you are always on beat and while we're covering the beat you can see the actual BPM which you can set in your host or standalone and uh, yeah th this is just for um, identification where you are on the on the track or composition that you're doing so that you can see one, two, three, four, one, two, and so on. Okay, the next thing is the the inputs and wave players, which we get here. And you can see you have those eight uh, channels, the audio input, where you can see my headset coming in here, my microphone, a drum machine, which is actually this one here, the drum sampler, and you get six looping wave players, which will load any uh, file you have on your disk from 16 to 25 bits. Uh, <laughs> 25 bits, cool. No, sorry, 24 bits. And either mono or stereo. And then we got the loop recorders, which is where the fun starts. Um, you got eight looping channels here. And all these can play together. You can adjust the individual volumes here. Turn them on or off. Um, arm them for recording or for input or keyboard effects which I cover now. Here you can see the keyboard effects display. Those uh, effects are uh, displayed here when you play them on the keyboard and you have uh, like uh, 16 of them and you can see if I press some keys on my keyboard now you can see what effect is now what would now have been played and of course we can actually hear this to do so, all we have to do is arm this track, my input channel here. As you can see, enables keyboard input effects for this channel. It will also be recorded on the looper. That's what we want to do now. So we just enable this record button for the input channel. And you can see this record light starts to flash in sync with the beat. And now I want to apply some keyboard effects. Which will I do now? And I just play them. For example, the looper. looper, 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 looper. Yeah, nice. The looper, 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 And as you can see, and of course you got, um, uh, you can uh, divide uh, the the looping time, so we get a one four loop, 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 and you can uh, also shift all this up or down, for example, with the pitch bender. <laughs> the pitch bender. And uh, the cool thing is that you can control this pitch, um, this pitch shifter, also with a pitch bend wheel on your keyboard. So you can uh, move it up or down. Uh, you can see the sound changes in return and uh, up or down depending on how far you turn the wheel. Another thing that you should know about the keyboard effects is that you can um, have 16 effects at once. Uh, so that means all those effects you can see here uh, can be played simultaneously. So you can go from e.g. the scratching, the scratching uh, in a, in a into the loop, apply some gating as well, and then some reverb after all, for example. And yeah, and this is where the real fun starts because you can um, do some damn interesting results with just playing with some effects and uh, 
going from the echo into the distortion and back and, and stuff like that. Okay, but before we cover that, we uh, have another look at the wave players now, because this is basically how we would start a song is by, yeah, choosing a loop. And for now you can see we got some silence here, it's just looping nothing. As you can hear, there's nothing in it. And now we want to choose a loop from the library. At the moment there isn't much stuff in here, we just choose a melody, for example. And then a place, a bit too quick, too fast as you can hear. So all we have to do is uh, change the loop length to, let's say, yeah, two bars for example. And then you can hear it's looping perfectly in sync. And now you can choose another loop, let's choose a beat loop for now. Let's say two bars. Oh, yeah, okay, one bar. And then it's looping over and over. And now let's say you want to uh, do apply some effects to these channels. It's easy as just pressing the record button. And now we can, for example, play again with those loop using the keyboard effects here. Yeah, and uh, like that. Okay, let's turn this off for now. For now, let's just continue with the uh, built-in drum sampler. So let me cover this one. You can see you have 12 slots um, available here where you can load your own drum samples or the ones from the factory library from disk. And uh, we for now we just choose a, a kick and a snare, for example, here. So snare two. And in case you don't know which sample you've loaded before, you just go over with the mouse over that symbol and then you can see uh -huh, it's PR drum kick short one dot wave. Okay, now to um, use those, you can just click here, for example. Of course, you have, we have to turn it on before. And then you can see it starts playing, or better said, looping in the background. It always loops uh, one bar, as you can see. And if you're unhappy with the phrase, you just press the uh, CLR or clear button and then it's gone away and you can start again. So let's say we want to uh, do a little drum phrase. For now it's just easier to turn on the click. And now I can uh, simply play those uh, drum samples via the keyboard. And you can see it's looping over and over. And I can as well add another sample. And then you got your simple drum phrase, which you can record easily on one of the loop recorder channels, which we want to do now. So all we do is enable the record button, and then click once, and click again. There you can see it has been recorded, and there we have it. And now we can do further adjustments or uh, record another phrase, for example using the microphone. So all I do is, like usual, enable the record button and record some phrase. Yes, this is Bro Dian and I wanna show your life machine. Yes, this is Bro Dian and I wanna show your life machine. Yes, well, okay, <laughs> that was a bit bad, Dian but and I wanna show your life machine. You yes, get this the is point. Bro Dian and I wanna show your life machine. Yes, this is Bro. And now Dian you can do this I over and over. Show your life machine. Yes, this is Bro Dian and I wanna show your life machine. Yes, this is Bro Dian and I wanna show your life machine. Yes, this is Bro Dian. And I wanna show you light machine. Yes, this is bro style. And I wanna show you light machine. Yes, this is bro style. And I wanna show you light machine. Yes, this is bro style. And now there's another cool thing. Yes, this is bro style. Uh, let's say you have just recorded like here uh, four channels, four loop recording channels, and they have some data in it. Let's say we wanna now mix them down, or we run out of channels. 
So we can then just use the mix down button. All we have to do is uh, select the channels we want to mix down. And then we use the mix button like the record button. And there we go. All four channels now back on one channel. Okay, uh, some more words about the drum sampler here. Um, it's velocity sensitive, which means when you load a sample, uh, it plays louder when you trigger the keys on your keyboard harder. I can give you a simple example using the one shot slots. And the cool thing is actually uh, that those one shot slots are. Uh, cool when you yeah do some uh, one shots <laughs> of course um, you can also save the kit and load it later for now you can even save it in an FXP using your host as you can see here you got the live machine set one and which uh, will save all the loops you loaded all the settings and all the drum sounds Okay, let's cover some uh, things about the uh, MIDI, external MIDI control via controllers with the live machine. Um, yeah, actually it's very easy. All you gotta do is uh, choose a knob or control um, you want to automate externally. Uh, yeah, it's a very easy task. All you gotta do is uh, choose a control or knob you want to automate. For example, this degrading uh, knob here. You just do a right click and then choose learn, move a knob, reboot, and you can see it already mapped and will also uh, also be saved in your setup uh, when you save this as an FXP for example. It will remember all the controls that you've chosen. And if you want to forget about it, you just click unlearn and there you go. There are some other uh, possibilities, of course. You got the default thing which is most widely used, which is the CC, the Continuous Controller. Or you can choose a uh, registered parameter or non-registered statistics and some other stuff which we cover later. And yeah, that's basically how this works. And the cool thing is, it works with uh, any control or button, not just with knobs. So that means, <coughs> if you, for example, you want to trigger, uh, you want to choose... Um, um, yeah, let's say you want to uh, uh, have a control for channel 6 loop wave player here. Just right click, learn, and you can press a button or move a knob, and there it goes. As you can see, oops, I just see I mapped it two times, okay? But you can see everything's possible. Okay, let me show you another uh, little example of what you can do with the recorders and effects in Live Machine. I got two loops here looping in the background. And um, I want to show you some uh, one of the coolest effects in Live Machine, which is actually the slicer. And it's a four beat slicer. What that means? Uh, let me give you a quick example. Perhaps you remember that loop. I have recorded that before. And I want to record now a new one. that does is uh, it is actually a little uh, assembler in a live machine itself besides all the loop recorders and wave players. Uh, this little slicer here uh, can record a four uh, beat loop or uh, one bar loop and then you can uh, play it sliced in four parts like this. And that's essentially a cool thing uh, when you, let's say, you have um, a vocal phrase or something that you uh, just did. You can run the slice in the background. And whenever you want to do it, you can throw this sample in while you're performing. For example, I can now uh, talk and talk. And the slicer ha has just run in the background. And now I can 
play that on my keyboard. Talk, uh, talk, uh, talk, uh, talk. Now I, I, I can now. Uh okay, another cool thing uh, about the slicer keyboard effect is that uh, it holds the latest recording as long as you want. So that means um, when you're inside a pr uh, composition and you change uh, some sounds or loops or whatever, you can still throw in uh, the old recorded slices, which I want to show you now, or what that means. works the following um, when you enable the rec uh, record effects buttons the slicer will actually uh, drop the audio which is um, which we recorded or um, wait let me explain a bit better what I want I don't want what I don't so when I enable these they will play but as soon as I uh, hit the slicer keys it will mute the rest so to say what what I don't and if you disable them it will mix the slice of what I want I don't 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 I
and we record a little uh, snippet. Here we go. There we go, recorded. And now let's say you play with this and you have some some cool yeah uh, some cool settings or effects that you want to um, record as well. So it's very easy. Okay, let me adjust some parameters. And let me play around with these and record my performance on a new channel. All we have to do is press the record button again and then it will automatically uh, move on to the next free looper channel. Here we go. There we go. And this is uh, how you can yeah, actually uh, record over and over with effects again and again and again until you have something <laughs> which is completely out of this world but yeah may sound may sound very cool <laughs> 